Hi, I'm Chad Stevenson with Morel Music Company in Bristol, Tennessee. I'm here with Marcus Miller. Might I say it's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Miller. How you doing, Chad? I'm doing very well. I just wanted to ask you about um, your actual signature model. We actually carry it, and I, I just wanted you to, to kind of let our customers know what it's like. Uh, the signature model, well, I'll tell you, uh, Fender came to me ooh, about six or seven years ago, and they said, uh, we'd like to take a look at your bass and see if we can make a Marcus Miller model. And I was like, okay, you know, it, it's a great honor for, for that to happen to you. So I gave them the bass, and, man, they they measured the thing every way to Sunday, you know. And um, when they were finished, they handed it to me. We made a couple of adjustments, but this is one of them. And I'll tell you, I can pick up any one of them anywhere in the world, and I can do a gig, you know what I mean? So it's a, it's a really nice instrument. It's not real, real crazy expensive but it's really good quality. Um, you know, the thing with Fender is that if you're in the studio, um, I know a lot of stories about guys who go in the studio with really fancy, expensive basses, and they start recording, and the producer says, okay, that's really nice. Now, do you have a Fender? <laughs> you know, do you have a Fender? Because I need to get this record done, and, and that's cute, but I need a real meat and potatoes bass. So the thing about this Fender is that you can get the meat and potatoes Fender sound, but you can also get, you know, a little bit more high techy sound if you want it, so it's a real flexible bass. Right, because you don't just stick to the no. just regular bass sound. You, you I have to. I can get what I need. You know what I mean. Right, exactly. Um, yes, it's very, very nice bass. I I demoed one actually for our web videos and everything. And of course, I'm not a bass player oh, right. by any stretch of the imagination. So, it is a pleasure to meet you and and actually see the man that invented the bass. Oh, so, thank you, man. I heard you telling your story about um, the I guess guitar tech taking your your instrument totally apart to try to find that secret, you know, that's the guy said, I need a fret job because, you know, I have some intonation issues, you know. So uh, I came in to get the bass. I came in, I guess, a day early. And the bass is sitting there, man, with all the, all the guts hanging out. <laughs> guy goes, I'm sorry, man. I just had to open the bass up and see what was in there because I get so many people calling, calling me up to ask me what you have in your bass. So I said, there's nothing special, you know. A lot of it has to do with playing the right notes, too. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, of course. Well, that that there again, a lot of it is the is the player, but now uh, it is a, it is an excellent instrument. So, thank you very much for taking the time to talk with us this afternoon. Pleasure. All right.